Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today's reading is uh, candle scrying. So there'll be personal messages in here for you. Um, and then there'll be oracle cards. And if I have to use the tarot cards, I will. Before we get started, I just want to give a big thank you to um, one of my subscribers, Yvonne, for purchasing this moon Moonology deck from my um, Amazon wish list for my birthday. It's not my birthday to the 8th, but I do really appreciate it. Um, it really did put a big smile on my face. So thank you. Um, so we're going to be using them today. Right. So I will be going dark for this as well, guys. Um, so remember... Okay, and I say this with every reading, take what resonates, throw out what doesn't, not everything is always going to fit you because it's not a personal reading, okay, so some messages may come through that they're yours, some may not, so just discard them, okay, and, and don't forget their energies as well, guys, so it doesn't really matter, um, so anyway, I see you there, so you choose a candle as well, guys, I forgot to say that, so choose your colour, and I'll see you at your groups. Hey, group one, so if you chose the orange candle, this is your reading, so we're going to get some water. And if I go very quiet, I've not fallen asleep, <laughs> I'm channeling the messages, okay, seeing what's coming through, so I may go quiet. So Spirit, tap me into group one, please, and help me receive clear messages for group one. Okay, with that spark there, guys, um, there is, for you guys, group one, I feel like there's um, some intense arguments going on in your life at the moment, okay? There may even be um, an argument in regards to yourself, you know, maybe you're like an internal, an internal monologue, if you know what I mean. Maybe you're beating yourself up about something, group one. That's from that spark right there, okay? It may even be a spark of a new idea as well. I can go with that. I'm not really picking that up. I'm picking up more. There's there's something very um very hectic going on in your life at the moment. So you have a bell right here, guys. You most probably can't see it. Maybe you can see it. There is a bell right here. So something... Um, how can I explain this? I mean, maybe there's a wedding for you guys, but how can I explain the bell? It feels like you're running out of time with something here, group one. That's how, the only way I can explain the bell. Okay, you guys have a lot of, lot of just single drops in this reading. There's a lot of tears being shed as well for you guys as well. Um... I'm seeing a lot of loneliness here as well. It's like everything is down here and it's like this middle bit is really empty. It's like there's some yeah, there's there's emptiness within you guys, group one. It's like there's no protection for you guys there is an umbrella here but the handle is missing so it's like you don't have anywhere to take shelter you or you feel like you don't have anywhere to take shelter there's no one there to help protect you or support you that's why i feel like there's there's a lot of loneliness here for you um we have do have the letter g and that's a capital g as well 
remember that spirit saying that to go i see a scythe here as well um and scythes are all about cutting someone off cutting something off it can even be a death um it can be an internal death you know that's what i'm seeing right down here i mean this may be your finances as well guys you know maybe some of you may be struggling financially as well we do have a oh, oh. Let me see if that makes more of an image for what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a push chair very clearly right here. You've got the wheels, you've got the ba basket, then you've got the handles. <coughs> so like I said, it could be there's a birth of a new idea here where this candle sparked. Um, some of you may be expecting there may be children involved as well and ideas at an early stage as well um, you have the number 8 as well so 8 could be important to you guys 8 days, 8 weeks, 8 months some of you could be on, born on the 8th. So, somebody in your life here, because I'm seeing a, a, a pair of glasses here as well, they don't show their true self, okay? There's a, there's like a mask. That could be you, that could be them. Um, come on, Spirit, give me some more messages here. Could have cancers in this uh, pile as well guys um, I'm seeing um, what are those crabs hermit crab and like you can see it really clearly right here okay with the legs are hanging out but then you've got the shell and it's like I feel like some of you maybe the star sign cancer but I also see you guys being withdrawn okay being more within your shell you know not coming out maybe not expressing yourself, not being yourself, you know, maybe you guys are painfully shy, but I just feel like you've become very withdrawn from the world. And this may be in regards to the heart as well, because we do have um, a heart here. And then we do have big angel wings right underneath that heart. So, you know, guys, if things are going wrong in your love life or relationships with people that you love, you look like it looks like you have an angel that is actually trying to protect your heart. You know, sometimes our spirit guides and angels and that will step in to, to protect us. Maybe you, you're not in the understanding of why things are going wrong. I do see this reading is very messy. That's how I see your life at the moment, group one. Very messy, very hectic, all up in the air. A lot of tears. I was hoping for some good news here, Spirit. So look, you have a nice tree here as well. So, you know, we can take that as things will start becoming more stable, okay? You know, maybe you're, you've had to move. Like I said, money was not coming in. You know, there is a place here where you will be able to lay down roots and you will be able to watch it grow, okay? So, if that's been on your mind, group one, you've got the you've got a big boot here as well so it looks like you may be giving someone the boot someone may have given you the boot but i'm feeling like it's more that 
you may literally be giving someone the boot here that this is could be why you know you're running out of time the way i said about the bell that's the only way i could think about it you know when you hear the ringing of the bells have someone watching you okay there may be evil eye being sent your way as well with this eye right here but i do feel like you know we had the glasses over here as well you are being watched very carefully it could be you've got to watch what you say um or the way you act as well we have the letter m So we do have a young girl here, okay? We do have a feminine right here because I have the ponytail and the ponytail is usually someone younger than you. So maybe that's the person that you're gonna be giving the boot to because the boot was right next to this girl. Um, like I said, there could be children involved as well and that could be where all the stress is coming from. You've got clouds here. So guys, you are under a cloud you are experiencing like i said a, a lot of gloomy days gloomy thoughts gloomy moments but you know what's so beautiful with this cloud right here you see the sun right at the end it's like i feel like you're coming out of it or you will be coming out of it very soon you know these This turmoil that you're going through, group one, if it is a relationship, okay, somebody in your life that's treating not treating you very well here and spirit stepped in to protect your heart, and then obviously I said about the boot, it could be this, once you give the boot to somebody, um, that's when all these clouds will start clearing and the sun will start shining, but it's having that courage, isn't it, to do it. a squirrel here as well big bushy tail the head that means somebody's um right there's a few messages coming through with that squirrel it could be that you're squirreling away your your coin okay trying to save up as much as you can at the moment you know penny pinching um also with the squirrel it could be somebody in your life that's you know squirreling away your finances or even your energy as well or your time We have the letter W as well. Hmm. have a mushroom here and I see mushrooms as someone that's like a fungus like a fungus in someone's life you know okay I see two people kissing each other right here.
So this could be love that's coming in. It could be the person that you, you are with. You know, you do love them. There could be like a, a renewal of passion in your life as well. But what is above? See, I see you guys kissing somebody here. But then there's all this that's coming out of your head. Um, and that's where the clouds were. So, no, close the reading for group one. Let me get some tarot cards here, guys, and find out what it is here that's causing these clouds. So, Spirit, tell me more for group one. Explain more about the clouds in the scrying bowl, please. Queen of Cups. Tell me more. Let's get a few more. Six of Pentacles. Emperor, High Priestess, Temperance, Two of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. There is definitely love here for an Emperor or you, you love the Queen of Cups, okay? There is a partnership here. It's equal give and take. So what is the problem? There's like a... There's like a decision that you need to make. And it's like you're turning to your spiritual team here. You're turning to maybe the universe. Speaking to your angels. To try and guide you in what to do here. And it's like... Now, I'm wondering whether you guys have met somebody else and you don't know what to do about it because this is very good. This is not picking up the problem that's in this bowl here, this tall meal that you're, you're going through at the moment. And some of you may be returning um, subs watching this reading because I've picked up on this energy before and that can happen. You have a decision to make, hence the bell where I said you're running out of time. Um, hence where the clouds are coming out of that that person's head. You know, all this stress and, and clutter and... And then there was the boot as well. So it's like, do it's like you're wondering, do I give this person the boot? Do I do I go in a different direction? Carry on with what I'm doing, Spirit. I need a clearer message here, please. We do have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, which I do pick up Cancer, um, Aries, and Sagittarius. Now, what is going on here, Spirit, for Group One? What is actually going on? Oh, goodness me. Now you saw them come out in reverse, okay? Eight of Wands in reverse. Oh dear. The Moon in reverse. The Chariot in reverse. The Ten of Cups in reverse. The King of Wands in reverse. Okay, right. Oh, oh. Look, because there's multiple people that watch this these readings, I'm getting multiple messages. So the first message I'm getting here is, you try to hide a secret here. Like I said, I feel like this is returning subs here because this came out the other day. If you were having an affair, you're so fearful that it's going to come out. Um, your secret is going to be exposed. And with the moon in reverse, that does actually speak of lies being revealed okay that the secret that was hidden is going to be revealed if for some of you because i didn't want to jump to conclusions about your person cheating in there i i did see that and i thought no i'm not going to say it because we can't always go to our partners being unfaithful 
Um, so if you've had that intuition, you know, like I said about this constant back and forwards, like this internal battle within yourself that you've been having, listen to your intuition is what spirit is saying. You know, you're not wrong. So this could be your husband, this could be your spouse, This, you know, their energies. Okay, this is the provider. You're, you know, maybe you're there at home looking after the children, whatever. That's, that's a dynamic. It's always worked that way. But there is a secret that's coming out here. It's either you are trying to prevent it from coming out or this energy here is really holding on to not let it come out. Now, with the Eight of Wands in reverse, this does speak of uh, it's slow. The truth is slow to come out, okay, with the moon in reverse. But then no matter how much you try to keep the secret, it will it will be um it will come out also it, what it could be is that you want to speak your truth you want to own up to this or they want to own up to it okay so i'm going you them it's it's a very mixed mixed boat here okay um and what will happen is fear is what's happening is fear is actually holding you back from revealing it or they're fearful of revealing it but it is going to come out no matter what um and it is going to cause despair guys okay it is going to cause you a lot of pain um this person lacks self-control whoever this is it could be you it could be them that they somebody lacks self-control when it comes to this emperor or this queen of cups and this could this is going to lead to a separation or a divorce or just an unhappy unhappy family dynamic now when our court cards come out like this in reverse it speaks of unfaithfulness okay it speaks to somebody that is um can be a bully is lying A womanizer usually they're um yeah this is very sad and this is major guys as well because you've got a lot of major arcana in here and i feel like for some of you the re hence why there's so many tears and you you're you feel so alone i'm picking up it's actually your energy guys you know you could like i said you could take what resonates for out what doesn't you can even swap it around as well you know this could be the emperor's energy that you're pick, that's coming through for you guys how they're feeling for if they were the ones that were unfaithful okay but i'm just concentrating on you guys so if it wasn't you and it was your partner don't don't sit there going oh no it weren't me no, no. just swap it around okay so this is why i was seeing in the bowl so much space so many tears just this big cloud over you guys and somebody here is being given the boot okay somebody here is not going to be putting up with being unfaithful well that's pretty shitty isn't it great one so we have um pisces cancer Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Okay, let's get you some oracle cards. That's that's really sad. Oh dear. That's funny that because that card's not supposed to be on the table, and I picked it up with these cards here, and it says I think about texting you, but I stop myself. So maybe you're in the energy of that. Maybe they're in the energy of that. Tell me more, please. But messages for group uh, one. Blimey, I don't think so, it's very right, Let's just pull one out because like these cards are just like stuck together because, okay. Last quarter moon in Cancer, take a breather. So Spirit's asking you to take a breather, okay? Relax, because it is causing you a lot of stress, Great one. So, more messages for group one, please, Spirit. Actually, that one. 
full moon in Taurus detoxify. So, you know, this is speaking of you guys, it's time to detox your life, okay? Detox doesn't just mean internally, it means the people around you, your your home, the way you think in you know, your mind, even your body. So Spirit is literally saying, take a breather and then it's time to detox. Full moon in Scorpio, breathe through the tension. Maybe you guys are at this stage where you're getting so stressed out and so anxious that you're holding your breath. You're not you're not breathing through it. You know, you do have a scorpion in this. Um, I know this is full moon in Scorpio, but I'm looking at the scorpion here. I feel like you've had a lot of stings lately you know because they do sting poison poisonous people around you as well let's get one more you know group one i sat down here had no problem i've literally got a banging headache right now i was fine great that's what i feel like this is what's happening here with you guys i'm picking up on your energy it's like literally just above the nose and your forehead So, you know, guys, I know it's not easy. It's easier said than done when someone tells you, oh, just chill, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's not what you want to hear sometimes. But seriously, take care of yourself. First quarter moon in Leo, be humble. Yeah, so don't fall into the trap here, group one, of being bitter or being petty or spiteful i know like i said it's easier said than done because sometimes our, our petty side comes out or the spiteful side especially when we've been hurt spirit wants you to be humble in all this so let's get you some more so messages for group one please spirit Big, uh, dream big, let go of small thoughts about yourself, see yourself succeeding. So, you know, maybe, like I said, you had an idea, there was a birth and an idea here that you've been thinking about wanting to do. And Spirit's saying you can actually turn this into something really positive that may even help you fuel your pain. I've said this before, use that pain to fuel the thing that you want to create. Make a decision, feeling stuck in an or indecisive listen to your intuition and make a decision now I literally just said that about up here that you you have a decision to make you have the two of wands and it's like you you just don't know what to do this is for some of you okay you don't know whether you want to stay you want to repair your relationship or the decision could be the other way like I said if you've met someone else and this person does it all ticks all the boxes do you do you leave with them because you do have, because on the back of the deck, I didn't show you guys this, but this is now I need to say it. Okay, is it there? It was, right, okay, I shuffled. On the back of the deck, you had the two of wands, a ten of pentacles. This is speaking, the decision that you may need to make is all the, all the energy and effort that you've put into a relationship, okay? This person that you've built a life with, you know you're going to have to lose all that. on the back yes look healing energy and then you've got complete com contemplation time spend time alone meditating upon what you truly desire so messages for group one please spirit Funny, your reading, I didn't really get much in your spine bowl other than just those few messages, which is very weird. You usually get quite a lot. Yes, your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. Now, that's the third time. So, you just got confirmation there. Whatever you've been, while you're watching this, whatever answer you're seeking, group one, 
you've just got your answer right here spirit is saying yes so let's get you some messages from your fairies oh, that sounds really crazy Motivation. When spring approaches, the flower the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say get busy doing it. Now there it is again. I know it's really hard when you're really depressed, and especially if you've lost everything. And I am seeing you guys have lost everything. It's like even people that were once there for you are not there anymore, and you feel so alone. Group one. It's very hard to find that motivation, but that might help. The healing, life energy. The happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life-giving energy. She reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed. And then you've got pure intention. The fairy of manifestation will help you use your wishes wisely. Manifest your heart's desire with pure intention and for the highest good of all. Hence why spirit is saying be humble keep being humble okay because you know when we're humble and we do good no matter whether we've been hurt or not it does come back tenfold and it comes back tenfold in a really positive way as well so you have gratitude list Counting your blessings and feeling gratitude for what you already have helps you to be helps you to be centered in your heart instead of fixated on worries in your mind. What you, what and who you are grateful for right now. Keep focusing upon gratitude and you'll discover amazing generosity from generosity in this universe. Um, I said from, so from the universe, okay? Savings. This is what I was saying about squirrel. The squirrel it was like i saw you guys squirreling away and I, and i don't that's not in a disrespectful way i'm just seeing you know where the squirrel collects their little nuts i've got my squirrel in my garden he's so cute <laughs> i'll leave food out for it as well because i'm just sad like that um but yeah they you know they take their nuts and they take it home you know that kind of thing and this is what i saw you guys doing is trying to save up as much as you can you know because I feel like some of you, if you know that you've got to leave, there's going to be a huge backlash here. You know, maybe you guys wasn't working. Like I said, that the, the emperor was the breadwinner as well. So you have savings. As you consistently save for your future, your future is saved. You do your future self a big favour as you consistently set aside present funds. This is part of the self-care and path to feeling secure as you focus upon your life purpose. Now, also, there could be a message here as well, guys. Maybe start putting money away. If this emperor has the purse strings, okay, this is like a codependency thing here, you know, money, control over money, that kind of thing. Spirit is asking you to start screwing away a little bit of money each month or each week or whatever. So for group one, please, Spirit. Seek your destiny. Hmm. Maybe where you've become, what's the word? Compliant? Is it compliant? A complete, whatever it is. You know where you just, you're okay with your lot in life and you just you just go with it every single day here spirit is saying to you it's time for you now to start seeking your true destiny here maybe it's time to start working on your third eye as well because we have the eye in the picture there and we have a cat as well hmm Stay strong. Yeah. Spirit wants you to stay strong. Q. 
keep your heart space open as well, guys, with that dragon there. Do not fear the unknown. And, you know, it is scary. It really is when you have to start again. But Spirit is asking you, do not fear it. A new day dawns. And that's this is what I said in the in the scrying bowl, okay, with all those uh clouds that were surrounding you, right at the end of those clouds was the sun. And I feel like you know, it, it's approaching it, you know, hopefully it's already come for some of you. This may have already happened. Um but there is a new day and there's gonna be, you know, you feeling more lighter because we have the yellow there. Right, let me um Wow, didn't even shuffle. You have such a bright light inside, stop dimming it. Wow. And I said this, this is what I was saying about the internal internal abuse that you're actually giving yourself. It's like you you you're not very kind to yourself, group one, and look what's just fallen out, you know. Stop dimming that light. You have the power to create the life you love. Remember that. Oh, that's a powerful message right there. And here, Spirit wants you to remember. Never forget how resilient you are. You always bounce back. That, that's... Those three cards are quite powerful messages there for you, group three. Uh, group three. Maybe there's a message over there. I haven't even got to group three yet. Blimey. Slow down. <laughs> oh, freaking heck. Oh, my God. This table's big, but yeah, I always run out of space. Right, let's get you an angel number for this, for this reading, okay? For this situation. So, angel number for group one for this reading. you have angel of intuition jeez how many times is intuition going to keep coming out here guys maybe this is the problem maybe it's now you may have a, a block here because of all the the stress and everything that you're going through that you're not receiving these messages clearly maybe you're you're doubting your intuition because sometimes we do do that so you've got 5656 Henio heightens your innate senses trust your insights lean on your perceptive abilities and always honor your inner instinct insight perception instinct so if you want more information on 5656 look on google guys but seriously angel of intuition you know if your intuition is telling screaming at you you know that you know everybody knows how their intuition works okay mine is okay this really Maybe this work is maybe for you guys as well. I get this really sickly feeling in my stomach and it just will not go away. And I know that's my intuition telling me, yeah, you know, you're right about that. So this is the thing here. So maybe some of you guys are not really sure on what your intuition is. This is only for a small number of you. You've got to look for that kind of feeling. You know, if something's niggling, just, just will not give up. Okay, you've got to listen to that. So anyway, let's get you a question. So question, so any question you want, group one. So for group one, please, spirit. You have two, so you've got in August and in March. So let's go that way. No need to worry, everything is falling into place beautifully. Then you've got in August, allow others to help you and you'll increase your chances for success. So my lovely group ones, thank you so much for staying and watching. I really appreciate you guys. You guys, please look after yourselves. and You have a beautiful day. Much love. Hey group two, so if you chose the blue candle, this is your reading. Oh, we'll be turning out the light. Um, and if I go quiet, I haven't fallen asleep. Okay, guys, I'm channeling. <laughs> so let's get started. So, Spirit, tap me into group two, please, and help me receive clear messages for group two. Oh, I've got this the wrong way, yep.
think you're going to be receiving a visitor soon, group two. Oh, okay, calm down. Oh my God, the flame's really high as well. You, you are going to be receiving a visitor because I'm seeing someone with their bag and they're waving. You have, um, oh, hang on. You have a son and this is going to make you so happy. So maybe there's a reconciliation because literally as this person came out waving with their bag, so it could be someone returning home after a, a long absence. It could be, like I said, a reconciliation. Someone you stop, sp stop, spoke, sp stop speaking to. Um, see, look, the doorbell just went in my house. So you're going to be receiving a visit and it's going to make you so happy. You've got a massive son there you have. Um, what else? Oh, this is exciting. We have a bed here, so... Maybe some of your used guys' health has not been great. Maybe this person's... Maybe they're returning because... Maybe they've their health has not been so great. You know, maybe their mental health or something like that. And they, you know, they need you, group two. That's what I'm seeing. Um, I don't know why I heard a child... Um, let's, let's have a look. Why am I seeing a bloody lawnmower? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's very strange. You know, this lawnmower here, I just heard cutting through the book BS, okay? So there's no more put, I was just about, yeah, pussyfooting, that's not a bad word to say. Pussyfooting around this person, you're literally going to be literally saying how it is, okay? So maybe this person hurt you. Maybe you're willing to hear them out. We have a wishbone here. So it is, there is, there is something here that you've been wishing for. So maybe you are wishing for this person to return or it just could be, a wish for something else we do have a heart here with this son with this person like literally in a row here and um there is love here on both sides do see a bunch of grapes as well okay so grapes can be something like temptation as well um you know not so much temptation you know when someone tries to uh sweet talk you or you know try to pull the wall over your eyes that's not happening no more for you guys okay you see through this person whoever they are who are they I'm trying to see if i can see any letters in here i do see the letter c oh actually i see the letter n as well So we could be looking at someone who's a Scorpio here as well. But this person who, this may, when you sit down and talk with this person, this may sting quite a bit, okay? You know, maybe their truths are going to hurt. You know, sometimes we don't like to hear the truth about ourselves. It could be the other way around. Maybe when you were in touch with this person, maybe the last time you both spoke, there was words that were said that really hurt you as well as hurt them as well, you know? Sometimes it's a equal thing, you know, when people fall out. Yeah. 
this could be a feminine that's coming to visit you guys okay i'm seeing a feminine head in this reading right here um So there is, there is gossip here as well. So maybe this is going to, you know, maybe when this person reaches out to you, there's going to be some kind of gossip surrounding both of you. You know how people like to talk about other people, you know, that kind of thing. So it's nothing, har it's harmless, basically. It's literally harmless gossip. Could be a friend. I'm seeing a bone. Because I'm seeing an apple. Why is an apple in your reading? You know, you know, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Being tempted by something. So maybe spirit here is asking you, don't be too forgiving. Okay, I know we're all about. Spirit is literally drumming it into us. We need to forgive. We need to forgive. Maybe that's not the right word. Don't be too forgiving. Maybe be more wary, okay? Don't be tempted by the illusion. So, you know, maybe there's something... I am going to clarify with the tarot cards because there's something here that I need more information on from that message here. Who is this person that's coming to see, you know, what what you've got to watch for? Um, because I am seeing an arrow pointing at this apple right here. And that is saying that, you know, you need to be, this is an important message here. That's why the arrow is pointing towards this apple. Now, you do have a vase right next to it as well, which can be, um, can be good or bad news. It depends. Oh. This, okay, this, this, there's a huge diamond ring here, huge. So maybe this person wants to come back into your life because they want you there for their wedding. Maybe that's the news that they're bringing you is that they've got engaged and they're getting married and they want you there. Some of you, this may actually be you, and I've just let the cat out of the bag, okay, that you may be being proposed to. So like I said, it could, the vase could be either good news or bad news. Now the vase is right next to this ring, so that's good news. This is something that's going to make you feel really like happy. You, There is a cloud by this sun, okay? So literally it's right by the sun. So Spirit is saying to you that what you were experiencing with this person it is going to clear the clouds are going to start parting the sun is going to start coming through you're going to be uh given maybe information that you wasn't aware of it's going to make you m maybe understand things a bit better um I, I see a table as well so you know table is sitting down communication sitting with someone and talking So I'm glad you guys got more messages and my headache's gone from group one. Hmm. Okay. You have a cross right here as well. So this could be divinely guided, okay? Pro you're protected as well. But I feel like this is divinely guided with this cross right in the middle of all this. Maybe the, the divine may have sent messages to this person to, to come back and communicate with you. I am seeing a fork in the road here. So basically what it could be here that you do have a, de a decision to make. Maybe it's just that you just don't trust this person no more. Maybe you don't want to open that door no more. 
Um, I see a beautiful butterfly there as well. So, you know, butterflies are all about transitioning, okay? Blossoming as well. So this, this, could, this has potential to develop into something beautiful. And also I see a windmill as well. So I feel like you guys are going to feel like you just like, you know, windmills just turn around and around and around. I feel like this is maybe what, how the relationship was um, in the past. Maybe you guys just kept going over the same thing. It was just repeated arguments. So. Turn my light and have a look at that. Yeah, apple is so strong there, but then it turns into a, an engagement ring. Oh, okay. You have huge angel wings right there. And these are messages, okay? Messages from spirit communication from somebody else as well and it is going to bring you peace i feel like this is like i said instantly it was somebody you have not seen in such a long time that it's going to be a shock so let's have a look close the reading for group two let's see what this is because this is interesting group two I don't feel like this is a lover i really don't there was no love anything in here i feel like this is someone who meant a lot to you group two that you both fell out over something maybe really silly maybe something very serious and this person wants to come back and share some good news with you they want you back in their life by the looks of it so spirit tell me about who is this person that's going to be visiting group two justice wow this is an apology this is fairness okay doing the right thing and you know what you've got on the back of the deck the eight of cups they this is them wanting to apologize for walking away from you leaving your life here let's say tell me about justice we have libra wow i don't think so spirit <laughs> are you serious oh my god yes spirit serious wow okay Mm -hmm. let's just mushy you up there because let's have a look and they all came out in reverse you saw the way they flew four of swords the star and this is all about the justice because this is what we were clarifying three of cups the the tower the ace of cups the four of cups wow now look eight of cups in reverse my goodness so this is all about mate doing the right thing okay fairness apologies um so let's see what they want to say here so this is somebody who's finally had an awakening okay a realization like i said maybe spirit has been communicating with them and they're finding some kind of clarity here, okay? Or that it's it's like they're how can I explain it? It's all to do with the mind, okay? They're trying to find the strength to face what they did to you was wrong. Now the star speaks of you know wishes coming true, hope for the future, um, healing. But this person feels stuck feel stuck in their mind maybe they they're thinking that you're not going to forgive them um and they're doubting themselves they're doubting whether this is the right thing to do even though they know this is the right thing to do now the three of cups in reverse speaks of this this person could be lacking in friendships you know people that used to support them it could be you that's that's lacking in their life that's what i'm seeing from here okay um, 
you know, this could be an ex group to now, yeah, you know, you've got to take what resonates because there was something that was cancelled here, like a cancelled a break breakup of an engagement, um, a wedding. Now we did have the ring in there. So maybe this is what's happening to them in their lives. Maybe they were engaged and it broke off and now they want you, you know, because you were the one that offered them comfort and peace and you can help them heal. Maybe that's why they want to reach out. That's for some of you. But I feel like what it is here with the star doubting themselves and the three of cups here, more strongly towards the fact that you, you are the one that is lacking in their life. Now we have the tower in reverse and this speaks of... Um, This person keeps resisting something here, resisting the change, resisting coming forward and speaking up. Um, they're resisting it at the moment, okay? So there is a blockage here, but even though in your scrying bowl, you do see them returning and waving. So I do see them returning, but at the moment, this person needs to, needs to wake up. It's like no matter how much they try and move forward, you are always there in the back of the background niggling in their mind with this card here, okay? They're trying to break away from this, but it's like spirits like, no, no, this is karmic justice because of what you did to group two. This is unfair. And now it's time to put right what you did wrong. So the Ace of Cups in reverse speaks of sadness, sadness and pain. The sadness is not having you there to help them heal or to heal their, their woes, you know, that support that you gave this person. That's that's how they're feeling. Then you've got the Four of Cups in reverse and it speaks of letting go, you know, letting go of regret. This is an end of a stagnation here, okay? End of non-movement, finally. So, you know, the hope. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're going to heal from this. Well, heal with you is what I'm seeing. And then the Eight of Cups, where they did walk away from you, this is where the regret was. This speaks of feeling stuck, okay? Feeling like they can't move on without you. And this is what I'm saying. There's a huge, there's huge angel wings in here. And this is, you know, you had the cross... This is being divinely guided. This person being divinely guided back to you, and this is what I'm seeing here. They're they're on their way back. They're finally going to wake up. So we do have Aquarius and we do have Libra. Wow. So let's get you some oracle messages. Um, let's let's get some of these because I'm just mixing it up today. So for group two, please, Spirit, what other messages does group two need to hear? Fragmented. The picture is com incomplete. A split in your energy. Too many things going on at once. Having too many options. You know, the fragmented as well, the missing piece of the uh, puzzle could be this person. That's what's missing. You also, you could put it the other way around. The fragmented piece of the, the puzzle, you know, the fragmented piece that's missing, the, the piece puzzle piece i can't even get it out <laughs> it's you that's missing in this person's life then you have happiness feeling happy about your life an incident that made you happy a smoother ride through life feeling on top of the world so you're going to be feeling very happy i feel like when this person does reach out it is going to make you really happy but spirit is saying just be a bit careful you know don't let this person tell you what you want to hear if you know what I mean, don't don't let them do that. Maybe they did that in the past. Maybe they tried to gaslight you and make it out like everything was your fault. Don't do that. Then you've got Phoenix. Rising from the ashes, being offered a second chance. The end of despair. What was lost is being restored. There you go. So this did this, this... I can't even talk, for God's sake. This did affect you deeply. This affected this person deeply. So if you ever wondered, that, you know, does this person feel the loss of me yeah and this is spirit saying to this energy here and you i'm giving you a second chance here do do it right this time so what you thought was lost is not lost 
Then you've got rebuilding, rebuilding your life after loss. There you go. Investing a lot of effort, ready to take action to improve determination and drive. So this person wants to rebuild with you. And this also could be, you know, if they have had a separation here and something got cancelled, you know, a breakup in their life, this could be them trying to rebuild their life after this loss. You know, maybe that is what was holding them back from coming forward as well. You know, third party interference. Single life, living your sing best single life, working on yourself, becoming more self-resilient, reliant, sorry, not settling for a bad match. So this person could be single. Wow, I said third party, did I not? Third party, there's interfering. There's interfering in... So, sorry. <laughs> Others interfering in your business. Possible love triangle. Too many people involved. Someone is watching you. I said about gossip. This person is watching you as well. And I said about maybe there is a third party here because we do have the three of cups in reverse that has prevented this person from coming forward. So maybe this person, you know... You know how some people are, okay, when they're in relationships or they've got someone that wants to hold on and then they sit and talk about how they're feeling and instead of this person actually saying to this other person, you know, you do what's best for you, giving them good advice, okay, you know, what is it is it that you want to do, you know, how do you feel, blah, blah, blah. This energy here that I'm picking up that may have been the interference is someone that said, oh, no, you could do better without group two, you know, group two's this, group two's that. You know that those sort of to toxic people, okay? So, messages for group two. Why are you in there? There's two. See, now these two should not be in here. And it happens, and this is what they say, because I'm not using these cards today. So it says, closed doors are blessings. If something you were hoping for doesn't happen, know that something even better will. And then you've got guided lessons. Your higher self is guiding you to make mistakes so you can learn important lessons. And this is what I'm getting from this person here. Maybe they, you look, group two, maybe you were the type of people that, if this person got themselves into trouble, you would help them okay that it was like you were like their like a codependency sort of thing here and spirits obviously stepped in and said right this person now needs to be taken away from group two because i'm protecting group two and this person now needs to go off and learn their lessons and this is what is happening with justice here so let's get oh, I've got some bloody wax on my tablecloth um so messages for group two please oh god Stop trying to carry the world on your shoulders. Wow. And this is the thing, group two, okay? I feel like this person put so many problems on your shoulders, okay? Made you responsible for things that you shouldn't have even taken responsibility for. And this is what Spirit is asking you to do. Do not take the world on your shoulders here. You know, this person coming back could be expecting the same sort of treatment that you used to give them where they could do this. And Spirit's saying boundaries, okay? I'm hearing boundaries, Speak up and speak out. Let your voice be heard loud and clear. Exactly. Don't sugarcoat it. Don't pussyfoot around the issue here. That's why I saw the lawnmower. I see you just cutting through the BS. You are going to be speaking your mind. Good for you, Group 2. I'd give you a high five, but I can't. <laughs> Not that I ever high five. That's a very weird thing to say, but anyway... <laughs> an idiot life can be hard and life can be wonderful which will you focus on but that's the thing i see you guys as being very forgiving empress energies okay you, you know you're willing to sit and listen to someone whether you accept their excuses or or their apology it's neither here nor there you got another one what the hell oh my goodness now i said right as soon as those dropped a reconciliation there is someone or something that can still be saved if you choose to compromise try to find the middle ground between two points wow wow so this is the thing you don't have to accept responsibility for something that you didn't do but there are some things that you may need to own up to as well like i said sometimes it, it's both parties that are the a-holes in a situation of a falling out 
and spirit is saying to you here there is a middle ground that needs to be found between both of you if this is to work i can't believe that came that snuck in this oracle deck amazing you you are too amazing to follow everyone else Forward your own path yeah and that's the thing as well though i don't know i feel like this person doesn't like the fact that maybe you don't fall into that category group two that you will f you're a leader okay hmm. yeah anyway let's get some more messages for you for group these spirit. I'm gonna have to pick these out. I don't think any is gonna come flying out. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, maybe this one. First quarter moon in Taurus. Release control, and that might be something as well. You know, maybe you're holding back on something. It could be spirit saying to you in this situation here, release that control, um, and that may help finding that middle ground. You know, and your flame on your candle went so high and then went back down. And, you know, I see that as um, if there was any negative energy around you guys, that's being cleared. Okay, the path is being cleared. It could also be messages coming through from spirit as well or communication from this person. So you have first quarter moon in Virgo. Assess the situation. Okay, so spirit is, look, the spirit is helping you here. So maybe you're going to be confused on how to deal with this. Spirit wants you to, to throw out the old and release this control, but also assess the situation. So it could be a couple of warnings here. So assess why this person is really coming back. Are they being genuine or are they being two-faced? But it also could be assess the, the situation of what happened um, in the past. Was you to blame? Maybe you're sitting there not taking the blame for certain things. First quarter moon in Cancer, push through any insecurity. So, you know, maybe you're too scared to tell this person that you, you, uh, how you feel you're holding back here. Maybe because, you know, you don't like to hurt people. You don't want to hurt this person because there is a lot of love there. But sometimes we've got to be truthful. Um, new moon in Sagittarius, focus on the positive. So, yeah, so maybe what spirit is saying here maybe just focus on all the positive things between both of you instead of all the negative things that happened maybe say to them look let's just leave that in the past um sometimes you can't just leave it in the past but let's just start afresh from today okay going forward it's a brand new start i mean but you guys do what you've got to do okay i don't know how i'll handle the situation <laughs> Some messages for group two. Share your thoughts. Right, okay. And that could be what it is. Don't hold back. Share what you're thinking. You know, if this person says something to you and you don't agree with that, but you're keeping your mouth shut because you don't want to upset the cart, you know, the apple cart, as they say, um, you may need to. Seek your answers within. So Spirit is saying the answers are within you. You can't get your answers from anyone else. Observe in silence. So yeah, maybe you need to let this person speak. Foxes are clever, okay? Foxes are sly. You need to be very clever. So Spirit could be saying, observe things observe this person in silence because you may f then find the answers that you're seeking and then you've got challenge your perception so you know you may have one way of looking at things and spirit wants you to challenge the way you look at things and you know look at things differently get outside the box 
have courage this is very leo energy this is here so be yeah have courage guys don't hold back and then know your power and i love this card because this card always reminds me horse and a rider I've said this before to someone else in a personal reading who are you are you the rider or are you the horse are you the one controlling the horse or is it the other way around you need to decide what's yours There's a lot of inner doubt here with you guys. I'm picking up. So let's get some fairy messages for you. Gold. So you have nature's signs. Be receptive to the subtle messages from nature as you go about your day. Nature talks to you continually. We need only to open our minds hearts and minds so basically spirit is saying we're sending you messages literally through nature you know it could be birds it could be badgers if you've got badgers in your country um <laughs> so, yeah that is a badger um you know just look for the signs and then temptation are you in denial about an unhappy habit perhaps one that makes you feel guilty the fairy says you have the power to overcome temptation whatever its guise so So what I was saying about the apple, temptation, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, don't be tempted by something. So messages for group two. So you have waves of prosperity, new abundance and exciting opportunities wash over you now. So there is prosperity and abundance coming your way, happiness, okay? And then you have divine magic, extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. There you go. So this is what I'm saying, divinely guided. It may also be that like it's such a surprise to you because you thought maybe you could never reconcile with this person. And you be, you'll be surprised is what spirit is saying I'm just hearing spirit saying you'll be surprised what we can do. All right, a bit cocky, <laughs> a bit boastful spirit. <laughs> okay, messages for group two. Have courage to ask for help. For ask for and accept help. Asking for help is a sign of strength, it, as it is accepting as it is offered to you. Very often when you ask God for help, prayers are answered through other people. Be sure to accept this assistance as well as give to others as you, give to others as you are guided. So basically, Spirit is saying, ask for our help. We'll help you. I feel like spirits or I feel like the spiritual team is already on it, okay? Let's get one more. Conscious consumer, you have the power to heal and help the world with your decision to buy only products and services that are ethical and environmentally friendly. As a conscious consumer, you choose to invest in fair trade and organic goods. You live simply and you purchase only what you need. That's a very weird message that came through there, guys. So maybe you guys are all about the natural and organic and vegan and that kind of thing. But it also, what I'm getting from this message is, is not actually that. Conscious co consumer is, you're careful about what you're being told, okay? You're careful about what you're buying when it comes to this person's words. Okay, let's get you an angel number for this uh, reading. So angel number for group two for this reading, please, spirit. So we're taking that one. You've got 949, Angel of Light, Uriel. Uriel's radiant light shines upon your path. Seek wisdom in darkness and allow fresh perspectives to illuminate your way. There's that perceptive, fresh perspective again. Challenge your perception. Elimination, wisdom and perspective. So that's what's around you in regards to this reading at the moment and the situation. 
So if you want more information on 949, Google it. So question time. So any question you want, guys. So for group two. Wow. I don't even know if you guys got the question out. But you know what? It obviously was there. The energy was picked up. Because spirit just... Your cards are just being spat out. So anyway. So whatever it was. So in the fall, leaves can show you how beautiful it can be. It can be to let go what is dying. So it could be letting go of what happened, okay? You know, not holding on to that. And then you've got when the healing is done. Wow. Healing is hard. Be there for yourself and others without judgment. And that could be it. Maybe this person needs your healing energy here and, and Spirit's asking you, please do it without judgment. So anyway, my loves, thank you so much for staying and watching. I really appreciate you all. Um, and guys, wherever you are, you have a lovely day. Much love. Hey, group three. So if you chose the red candle, this is your reading. So I am going to turn out the lights and I am going to be going quiet at times, okay, um, to channel the messages. Um... So, let's get started. So, Spirit, tap me into group three, please, and help me receive clear messages for group three. I keep putting this upside down. God, I'm special. Anyway, let's start. Excuse me. There's something very slow that's um, for something slow happening in your life. Okay, maybe you've been in a hurry for something, and it's not been happening at the pace that you thought it was going to happen. Group three. Um. Let's see what that is. So we have the letter N, the letter K, okay, okay. <laughs> with the scorpions in in everyone's piles like there is a massive scorpion here um so you guys could be scorpio person maybe whoever's coming through is a scorpion but it also could be that um maybe you've been stung recently as well like i said maybe, maybe something very slow it's just everything is just moving very slowly even your reading is very slow um And I see one of those, um, oh, what are they called? You know those triangle things with the thing that goes, you know what, what therapists use when you go under hypnotherapy? So maybe you've been hip, hypnotized by someone recently. It Also, those could e even be timers as well, you know. Um, so maybe Spirit is saying to you, give things time, be patient. You need to be looking at something more closely, okay? You might need to change things up here because I'm seeing huge spectacles here. So it's like maybe you're looking at things in a in a in the wrong way. Um because you've got something here, group three, that can turn into something so beautiful. You have a massive butterfly as well. 
it's just tweaking it. And this, this will grow into something much more stable, more security for you. Um, what is this? I will be using the tarot cards to get more information as well. Um, so let's see. Yeah, so you have a baby chick, chicks, the baby, it's something that you may have just started. Okay, I'm seeing a moustache as well. Why, why am I seeing a, a moustache? Maybe somebody in your life has a moustache. You could even have a moustache. You're about to start a journey here. You have a pointy boot. <laughs> nice boot right here. So it could be a visit up, but I feel like this is more of um, you leaving footprints. You're going to be leaving a footprint. You know, like the Ten of Pentacles. I see the letter L as well. But yeah, you're about to go on a, a big journey because that's a big boot. There's going to be a lot, there's a, there's going to be excitement about you group three, okay? There's going to be a lot of talk about maybe whatever it is that you, you're creating or what, what you've started. There is going to be a lot of gossip surrounding this. Um, could even be a relationship, okay? Because uh, candles are, the red candle is love. That's for some of you. You have huge angel wings as well. So this is receiving good news. Um, also being protected by spirit. I'm seeing a huge cockerel. Cockerel messages. I'm seeing a bag as well which is actually quite full so you've got the the huge bottom bit there with the the handles as well so this is going to bring you some financial financial luck like luck or an increase in income this is really great this is group three i mean it may be a new job you know A huge fish as well you know fish means fertility it means abundance um i don't see anything negative in this bowl at all just all positive energy coming through here and maybe you feel like it's not going to happen because things have been really really slow to take off you know um, seeing a drum here as well and spirit is saying to you don't don't follow the beat of other people's drums follow the beat of your own drum you don't need to um copy other people okay you be your own individual self is what spirit is saying you do things differently you know maybe there is maybe it's a, a a platform that you started and maybe you feel like you should be more like them and spirit is saying no what you're not seeing is you need to be yourself you need to be different it's okay to be different massive tree here as well you're going to be uh laying down roots and you watch the hard work that you've put into whatever this is group three is going to blossom into something that you just was not expecting 
So maybe you've been feeling like, oh, I should just give up. It's not going anywhere. Blah, de, blah, de, blah. Spirit saying no. So, let's have a look. So now I see you sitting here, group three, okay? You can't really see that. I don't want to turn it at the moment because I don't want to upset it. But I see you with your, you know when you've got your fist under your chin and you're just like thinking, contemplating, like what am I doing? You know, what should I do? Blah, blah, blah. And you've got all these things coming out of your back here, like out of your, your mind here that you're, you're, you're turning your back on it is what Spirit is saying. You're not facing what you should be doing here okay the ideas that you're having you're discarding them you're just throwing them away you, you like i said you've got your back to it and spirit is saying to you no turn around maybe you have to go back to the drawing board and start again you know it there's something you're missing here is what spirit is saying you know, maybe you have people that are pushing you in the wrong direction, trying to give you ideas, you know, trying to help you, but they're not really being helpful. So close the reading for group three. Let's have a look what this is. So for group three, please tell, tell me, Spirit, about this message in the scrying bowl. Tell me more. Tell me more for group three. What is this message? What are they not seeing? Seven of Cups, you have other options. You just need to look at things clearly, okay? Because look, I know it's it's glary, okay? But she's looking at the book. The book is on fire, okay? The Spirit is saying, whatever you are doing, it needs to be scrapped, okay? You need to burn that, you need to throw away. Turn your head and look at this cup that you're holding right here, which is very big, okay? There, there are other ideas that you could be putting into this this cup. So tell me more about the Seven of Cups, please. Spirit for Group 3. King of Wands. See this? Look at this. This King of Wands. You know, these are energies, okay? But this is you... You need to find the King of Wands energy, Group 3. Be confident in what what you're creating or wanting to create here. You know, be strong about it. Um, this is, you know, the King of Wands is very successful. You have the power, okay, Spirit's saying you have the charm, you have the power, you have the courage to do this, but it's like you're lacking in courage. You are a leader is what Spirit's saying. You are not a follower. So it could be that maybe there are other people that are involved in this, and like I said, they're giving you ideas, and these ideas keep falling flat, you know, they keep blowing up in your face with the, the burning book here. Tell me more about the Seven of Cups. So we do have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, High Priestess. Go with your intuition, that inner voice. That that inner voice will guide you in the right, the right way, okay? Wow, look at this. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm going to take these. Oh, my God, Ace of Wands. Yeah, this is amazing. Look at this, okay? Two of Cups. Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, King of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Ace of Wands. So this is a career change, okay? An idea to create something, something you have already created. You have the business mind that you are the King of Pentacles as well as the King of Wands. You are somebody who is going to be able to create something really abundant, powerful, you know, um... You've just got to change direction, Spirit is saying. Change. See, right, this is so weird, okay? Look at what I said about what I'm seeing in this bowl here is somebody that's leaning on their, their fist, 
feeling fed up trying to come up with an idea and look at the way he's sitting with the same pose as that in the bowl there's something here spirit is saying that you're missing you know maybe it's other people around you that's calling confusion here but if you know and this is to do with work career it could be to do with a little business of your own I feel like what Spirit is saying here, go back to the drawing board and go back to what you used to love doing, what used to make you happy. It's like, you know, maybe things have taken off and it's doing all right, but it's not making you happy is what Spirit is saying. You know, in this Two of Cups here, I see this sometimes as you having a contract to, with yourself. You have the, the um, you have a duty to yourself, not to others. So, yeah, a decision that needs to be made and it's something to do with your career here, you know, a creation. If you can just... Go back to the drawing board is what Spirit's saying. You're going to end up in this Ace of Wands, which is amazing. All that, you know, in, oh, what's it? It's going to help the juices flow, okay? Your creation is going to start flowing. These are all really positive cards, really positive. If some of you are wanting to start a little business here and you've been told, no, I don't think it's a good idea, but other people, you need to ignore that is what spirit is saying, okay? This is really positive cards. Hmm. You know, you need to decide what way you want to go with this. Have faith is what, what spirit is saying here, guys. Don't doubt yourself. I mean, two, two powerful kings there. This is you being successful, a business person, being true to yourself, being loyal to yourself. You know, and if it is, if it is something to do with something online here you will find that you will start pulling in your soul tribe we have the soulmate card as well as the ten of cups people are going to love what you do and you know and i'll keep looking at this is she working on yeah she's sewing she's sewing here as well see like she's working really hard on something here and it's just that i feel like you've neglected something here and or you feel like it's not going to work out, group three. You feel like that people are not going to like it. But Spirit is saying they will love it. Go back to the drawing board is what Spirit is saying. Start, start from the beginning again. Find what it was that you lost about your, you know, about your talent or yourself. So let's get some messages for you. So let's, uh, so what else, Spirit, about this reading? What else does group three need to know? You know, it can even be a new job, okay? It could be somewhere where you feel like you meet people that, that you get on with and, you know, you can you do create creation juices start flowing. Um, it's like maybe you're holding yourself back because you feel like you don't want to let other people down. Maybe you've been feeling like I want to go on my own um, and, you know, you just don't know how to go about doing it without hurting someone else. Stop caring about what they think. Oh, my God. It's <laughs> literally what she said. Stop caring about what they think. This is your life to love and live. Wow. Literally, this is this is it. Some Something or someone is holding you back with this. And it also could be what is holding you back is because you're so fearful of what people... You know, we get horrible people online, okay? I've just recently experienced it once again. And what is really hurtful, and I did tell this person this, that maybe you need to be careful of what you say to people. I didn't go into too much detail because, 
You don't know what they're going through. You don't know what they've been through in their life. And words really hurt. Okay. And that's my experience. Um, and it really does knock your self-esteem. It's like, what is wrong with people? You know, seriously, what is wrong? And I ask myself that multiple times. Um, so you do need to fix skin. And this is what it could be here as well. Maybe there's been people that have put horrible comments and they're, they're not saying nice things. And then you start doubting yourself and then you feel like, oh, maybe I should do it like that. Because that upset them. But that could have been one or two people. You know? And you've sort of lost yourself a bit here. Also it could be if this is a job. You may be more concerned about what other people think about you. Instead of you living your life and being who you are. You know, if you're wacky or scatty or whatever. Different. Who cares? That's the, you know, one person's opinion shouldn't affect the rest of your life. And it also could be people in your life that's trying to stop you from doing this, you know, and you're very unhappy. Find ways to lighten up and not take everything seriously, right? So maybe you've lost the fun side of what you're doing. Maybe you've lost that enjoyment and you've become too serious about it. Everything's just become really serious. This is what I'm saying to you with the scrying bowl and with the cards. Go back to the drawing board. Go back to the beginning. You you are too amazing to follow everyone else. Wow. Forge your own path. You Right. You don't need to be like other people, group three. You need to be you. You don't need to do what they're doing. So what if they, they speak better than you and they've got better content or they, I don't know, whatever. I mean, I don't explain things very well. I'm, I'm my own person. I'm quite happy being me. If people don't like my content. That's fair enough. Okay. You know, not everybody is going to like you. But you're not a sheep. You are a leader. I said this, you are a leader. <sighs> Let your feelings out, all of them, even the ones that scare you. And that could be what could be holding you back. Because you're scared of judgment. And then you've got to take responsibility for your choices. This is your life to live. Own it. So basically, yeah, the choices you're making, group three, are your mistakes, not anybody else's. So for group three, please, spirit. What else do they need to know about the situation here? I'm going to pick them out because these cards don't go flying. Okay, you've got two. So, last quarter moon in Pisces, talk less, feel more. And maybe that's what's lost. Maybe it's it's the feeling, the, the way you used to feel. And then you've got four moon in Leo, go wild, courage. You know, maybe you wanted to go wild and, and maybe someone said something and said, oh, no, I wouldn't do that. that that's not going to work, you know. Mm, consequences, Ugh, whatever. Don't listen. Last quarter moon in cancer, take a breather. So Spirit wants you to take a breather in this situation. So go back to the drawing board. Maybe you've been working too much, you know. This has become like an obsession now and it's like you've, you know, there has to be a balance here. And then you've got four men in Taurus, detoxify. So it's time to detoxify, not yourself, maybe yourself as well, but detoxify what is important and what's not important. So I'll have a clear out. Let's see what these cards want to say. So, okay. Man, a male friend enters your life, a male romantic interest, a man will assist you, a man plays a key role. Okay, masculine. It may not be, okay? But this, what I'm getting here, somebody may end up helping you, but it also could be that whoever this person is, they are pay, playing a key role in this whole situation here, this, this, um, this confusion, you know? What else for group three, please, Spirit? Luck. Wow. Good fortune. Positive change. Fulfilled wishes. Unexpected happiness. 
and I said that in the scrying bowl, it is coming guys, but you just need to go back to the drawing board. And then you've got tr contracts, important legal matters, agreements between two parties, making something official, apply applications and signatures. So we do have the two of cups as well. So this could be a contract, okay? So it also could be a sole contract. Um, but you may be signing a contract with a new job. It may be, you know, maybe someone's interested in your content. Maybe this man is going to notice you and offer you some kind of uh, collaboration here. Sponsorship. Who knows? What else? Spirit for group three. Anger. You feel you've been wronged. Arguments, disagreements, temper, ego, clash, pent up anger. So yeah, there's something here that you feel something has gone has gone wrong. Yeah, but sometimes we need to look at ourselves, okay? We don't like to. Isolation, being emotionally removed, choosing to be alone, recharging your mind and body, introspection. And this is wonderful to see because Spirit is literally saying, where are they? Take a breather. So maybe this is what Spirit is literally saying to you. Take a breather, spend some alone time with yourself, go back to the drawing board, you know, recharge your batteries. This is that... that um detoxify as well maybe you need to look at the people around you maybe you need to start distancing yourself from these people as well magnet magnetic sorry seduction charm attracting things in life attraction to some something someone hard to resist something something someone this is what i'm saying here you you can get back on track here group three you are going to be like a magnet where people are going to want to watch what you're posting if it's content people are going to want to hire you if this is a new job you know they're going to listen to your ideas and here's that crossroads that two of wands face with choices miss of indecision facing the possibilities in life right of initiation so for group three please spirit no, not that many Oh my god, can you stop it? Oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> know your fears. So fear is holding you back is what Spirit is saying. Um, And then you've got full of the moon. So maybe there's something here to do with the, the uh, moon cycles, okay? Moon also is on about our dreams, our inner knowing, our intuition. Our, you know, maybe you're, you've been having dreams about something here. Listen to that. And then we've got reveal the truth. So you guys could literally be hiding behind a mask here because you're fearful of what people might not accept you. So take the mask off is what Spirit's saying. Let go of the old. There you go. Let go of the old. This is this situation here and start again. And then you've got to see the truth. You have the wisdom and the knowledge to be able to handle this group free. Hmm. So for group three, please, Spirit. So you have set your sights higher. Increase your standards and expect more of yourself. Don't settle. And that is the thing. This literally is just repeating itself, group three. You're not... You don't. It's like you don't think... Maybe you don't think that you're worthy of anything better. I don't know. Um, Spirit saying, don't settle for what it what you've got right now. You know, if it's a new job, don't settle for a job that's not making you happy and not paying you well. You know, um, time to move on. Time to look for something better. Um, but, but don't leave before you find a job, guys. Okay, never do that. Um, and the circumstances make you do that. And also, you know, if it's something you've created here, set your sights higher. Divine magic, look at this. Look at these two. Waves of prosperity and divine magic. So extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles, new abundance and exciting opportunities wash over you. Wow. These three cards set your sights higher. If you set your sights higher, this is literally what is going to be coming to you. So, 
let's get you an angel number for this situation, for this reading. So angel number for group three for this reading, please, spirit. Ooh. There we go. 52-52, Angel of Inner Peace, Salafel. Salafel bestows tranquility upon your soul. Dive deep within. Find your inner calmness and let serenity become your guiding force. Calmness, balance and serenity. Wow. So Spirit is saying to you, you know, go within. Be calm as well. Maybe things have been really hectic, very stressful for you, group three. So if you want to look up more on 5252, um, you can on Google. So question type, so any question you want, group three. So for group three, please, Spirit. you've got when the healing is done healing is hard be there for yourself and others without judgment let's get one more guys ask that question again i feel like that was a bit of a uh, dodgy answer spirit <laughs> So you've got perfect timing new doors opening now and new opportunities are coming your way Okay, so Spirit saying it's perfect timing, but there is a bit of healing that needs to be done. There's something maybe here, group three, okay? It, that's not really a wishy-washy message, to be honest. Um, Spirit could be saying to you the healing is in regards to maybe something from your past, something from childhood trauma. Like I said, you know, when I had that comment, this person doesn't know me. They don't know the trauma that I've experienced in my life, you know? Words hurt, okay? Um, and people need to be more careful in, and mindful of what they're actually saying to somebody. Um, so this is something here that needs to be healed. I suppose that's maybe a message to me as well. From your past. Okay, like your shadow self. Um, childhood trauma. That could be actually what's affecting this this new energy that needs to come through this new creation here or, or something actually group three has just come to me as well that's coming through really strongly okay something you used to do when you were younger you turned your back on and this needs to be brought to the forefront front okay it needs to be brought back into your your life you've neglected it you've ignored it and i feel like this can bring you so much abundance so much success so much happiness and you may be at peace with yourself maybe someone in your past when you were a kid or whatever told you no don't do that that's wrong Blah, you know that kind of thing and spirit is saying to you that could be what you've turned your back on and this might be what healing needs to be done here you know when we're told when we're little that you can't do something you tend to believe that don't you so my lovely group phrase, um, I'm wishing you all the luck in regards to this situation right here. You guys deserve it, okay? Um, and you guys, wherever you are, you have a lovely day. Much love.